Welcome to Soul Hydration. God be with you. I'm your host, Pastor Naomi Austin. And I'll be coming to you each day with a sermon and a conversation with some wonderful people. But today I want to talk to you how to get to the city of heaven in the steps of Jesus. I'm, I'm coming from 1 Peter 2nd chapter and 21. For Jesus also suffered for us, leaving us an example that we should follow in his steps. We have a leader, Jesus Christ, who has done, has gone before and set us in a good example. Peter tells us to follow Jesus. In many instances, we are unable to carry out this divine injunction. Spiritually, we may, but does God really require us to follow him? Yes. Yes, he does. We are sons and daughters of God by generations and by born again. Jesus was begotten by the Holy Ghost before he was born. And we are begotten of the Holy Ghost after we are born. Beloved, now we are the sons and daughters of God. And as children of God, we are expected and required to follow in Jesus' footsteps. I know it can be hard, but we must follow Jesus to Bethlehem in humility, in condescension and in lowliness. We must follow him to Nazareth in patience, endurance. We must be able to live above the crowd, even in the city where the environment is sordid, dirty and filthy. We must be able to convince our Philip of today that something good can come out of Nazareth. Even though, brothers and sisters, or regardless of our environment, we must follow in Jesus' footsteps. We must follow him to the Jordan in Christian baptism, in separation from the things of this world. Oh, praises to your holy name, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And we must cross over to the other side, brothers and sisters. We must come to the Jordan, join the church, unite with people of God. We must be made alive by the Holy Spirit, descending upon us and receiving the approbation of the Heavenly Father that we are his beloved children. Prepared by the gift of the Holy Spirit to face and overcome temptation. We must follow him to the wilderness of temptation, examination, and fasting. For it is here where he gets the victory and power. Or it is here where we become victims or victorious. It is here, brothers and sisters, where we are spiritually equipped for the welfare and for the warfare. It is here where we do not sell our birthrights and bread, our or power for our outside, hallelujah, to show to the world by shortcuts, methods, or for apparent success, fame, and glory, by compromise with the forces of evil. We must follow him in courageous Christian and endure, brothers and sisters, until we can say to the devil, it is written that man shall not live by bread alone, or shall God or get thee behind me, Satan, for God only shall I serve. We must follow him to Galilee in the ministry of service. We must go about doing good. Don't let nobody turn you around. Keep on to Galilee. Keep on going through personal service, through, hallelujah, problems and your sacrificial gifts, through prayer and fasting. Out yonder, brothers and sisters, where people are sick, hard, broken, distressed, hungry, deaf, lame, and dead in sin. Like Jesus, we must go about doing good, not only for ourselves, but for the sake of Jesus Christ for others. We must follow him to Jerusalem, a place of heartache, headaches, misunderstanding, and rejection. Jerusalem, where they killed the prophet and stoned them that are sent from God. Where your name meets the ill repute. Where your name meets the ill repute. Where your motive 
are misunderstood and where, where your enemies, like the Pharisees and the Sadducees, plot and plan down as a, your downfall. But brothers and sisters, your destruction, everybody wants that is not of Christ. But blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake, Jesus said. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. We must follow Jesus to Bethany, a place of consolation and encouragement. Beyond every Jerusalem, there is a Bethany, a place where Mary and Martha live, a place where a warm reception and kind consideration is given in to us. A place where Mary invites you into the parlor and sits in conversation with you and listen to our story. Glory be to God. A place where Martha goes into the kitchen and prepare for us a meal. A place where we get encouragement to follow the master into the next step. We must follow him to Gethsemane, a place of submission where we surrender our wills, our ambition, and our lives, and our purposes to the will of our Lord God Almighty. Gethsemane is a place where friends will promise to watch with us and stand by us, but goes to sleep and leave us alone, while others like Judas sell us to our enemies. A place where night is dark and the ground is cold, the cups is bitter, Friends are few and loads are heavy. Heavy loads where we be still ourselves and pray for deliverance. But also a place where we go a little further and say, Father, not my will, but thy will be done. And where angels come to defend us if the need arises, we must follow him to Calvary where we give up the ghosts a place where we give and forget. A place, brothers and sisters, where we give up our mother and our father, our wives and our husbands and our children and our friends, praise, praise the Lord. And where we part with our garments, our possessions and our, our plans. A place where we commit our spirit into the hands of God. And where we surrender our bodies to go back to the earth. Ashes to ashes and dust to dust and where we above all eliminate our from our hearts all of the ill will praises the Lord against those who have done us wrong and pray like Jesus Father forgive them for they know not what they do even though they give us vinegar when we ask for water Yes, brothers and sisters, we must follow him to Calvary, the ends of Christianity. Oh, praises the Lord, the end of the Christian's journey, the resting place of Christ's cross and the Christian's cross. But thank God the way that the cross lead us home. Must Jesus bear the cross alone and all the world go free? No, there's a cross for everyone and there's a cross for me. A consecrated cross I'll bear till death shall set me free. And then go home my crown to wear, for there is a crown for me. When we follow Jesus to Bethlehem's crater, to Calvary's rugged brow, according to his ble blessed word, we shall also follow him to glory. Paul tells us in 2 Timothy 11:12, it is faith saying that we be dead with him. We shall live with him. May we be persuaded in our hearts to sing. Where he leads me, I will follow. I will go with him all the way. In 1 Peter 5, 7 it says, Humble yourself thereof under the mighty hands of God that we may exalt you in due time, casting all your cares upon him, for he careth for you. Oh, brothers and sisters, the Lord loves you. The Lord is there for you. My Lord is a good Lord. In Acts 2nd chapter 21, and it shall 
come to pass that whoever, whosoever, call on the name of Jesus shall be saved. Jesus don't want us feeling guilty serving him. If you haven't got peace in your heart because of this world, it's no one's fault but yours. Because you're letting Satan take your joy. In John 8 and 36, Jesus says, Therefore, if the Son makes you, fee, you free, you shall be free indeed. You can have that freedom, brothers and sisters. You can have that peace. But you must be honest to you first. Last week, you could have enjoyed the Holy Spirit. And before you knew it, Satan just stepped in bringing fear, pain, sadness, unkindness to the others. And then we lay aside what happened on Sunday, forgetting the power of the Holy Spirit and forgetting how to follow Jesus and remembering to get from not remembering how to get from city to city in the steps of Jesus. Jesus answers most surely, I say to you, unless one born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. You brothers and sisters are Abraham's children. You're free to do what it is you want. God has given you many, many freedoms and chances to do what you want. Now it's time to turn yourself over to the Father in heaven who needs you to pray for yourself and for others so that you can come through this thing clean and walking in the presence of Jesus. I give honors to God for letting us be able to do this today. Thank you for coming and listening to Listen and Believe. I'm going to be praying for all of you who calls in. And I am a seer. God has given me that to see. And I will be answering questions as possible if God allows me. I thank you for joining us today to listen and believe. God be with you and have a blessed and pleasant life in Jesus. Amen.